All right, so now we're going to wrap all of this together and I'm going to give you a process, a strategy to be able to get what you want, to start winning, and to be able to master that little voice once and for all. What it's going to take is the word discipline. That's right, the word is discipline. Now there's two types of discipline. There's instilled discipline, as my mentor Mac Newton said to me, and that comes from within. It's because you want something bad enough, you're willing to be disciplined, to go to the gym every day if that's what it takes, to make the right number of sales calls every day if that's what it takes. But there's also imposed discipline, which is me telling you what you need to do. Now you can ask yourself, do you wanna, do you wanna go through life disciplining yourself or having someone else discipline you? That's a choice you got to make. But I'm going to give you the process to instill discipline. Let me ask you a question. Are there areas in your life where you feel like you need more discipline? Of course. If you said no, then you're lying. We all do. Are there places in your life where you are very disciplined? Of course. The question then becomes, based upon the things that you want, are you disciplined in, the, in those areas? And I will tell you that if you're not getting what you want, it's because you don't have the discipline in those areas. So let's create this. Let's do this together, okay? You ready? All right, good. So step number one in imposing discipline and becoming, getting on the winning team and getting what you want, step number one is what we call status quo. That's who you are today. Say, this is me. Say it, this is me. Good, awesome. So that's where you are today, the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever. Then step number two comes next. Now I'm going to ask you to do something here. So you need to give yourself a little bit of room to do this, okay? And before I write down what step two is, I'm going to do a little exercise. I want you to stand up, okay? And I'd like you to cross your arms like this. And what I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to bend your knees and squat all the way down as far as you can go, all the way down. So your butt is about even with your knees or lower, and then back up, okay? Now that's called a double leg press. Keep your back straight, shoulders back, and heels on the floor, okay? Just so you know, this is an exercise we do in Max Studio that 60, 70 year olds can do quite easily, okay? So you got it? Cross your arms, shoulders back, and I'll count it out. Okay, ready? Down, one. Down, two. Down, three. Come on, keep going. Down, four, don't quit on me. Let's go, down, five, down, six, and seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, take a deep breath. Give, give yourself a round of applause, very good, okay. Now how do you feel, you find that easy? Maybe a little bit taxing? Okay, good, now that you know how to do it, we're gonna do 20 more. Ready, let's go, ready, go. One, two, Three, come on, if somebody else is there, you do it too. Four, five, don't stop, come on, keep going. Eight, nine, I gave you a break. Ten, one, come on, keep going. Two, three, heels on the floor. Four, five, six, come on, stay with it. Seven, eight, you can do this. Nine, Ten, give yourself a round of applause. Good job. Okay, good. Now, hopefully you did it and you didn't cheat. Now, was that easy or was that difficult? Well, let me tell, ask you this. Are you breathing hard? Are you sweating? How are your quads and your butt feeling right now? You know, if you're watching this, you should be in pretty good shape and be able to do this. So if your quads are hurting, and by the way, if they're not, I guarantee you tomorrow morning when you get out of bed, you're going to feel this, what you just did. Because if you, if it's... If you're sweating or breathing, you got step two of becoming disciplined. It's called a wake-up call. That's right, a wake-up call. You need to be in better shape. A wake-up call could be a lot of things. It could be your, your boss telling you for the last time to work overtime for no more money, and you're just going, that's it. I've had enough. This is a wake-up call. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm sick and tired of working for somebody else. I'm going to start my own business, whatever the case might be. A wake-up call could be sitting down and looking at your bills and not being able to make ends meet again. And finally, you've had enough, and you make a decision. That's right, you make a decision, I'm sick and tired of this, I'm not gonna do this anymore. And by the way, a wake up call doesn't have to be negative, it could be you're sitting there watching, it, listening to one of your friends talk about their passive income and their real estate investments and you're going, you know what, that's what I want. I really want that, I really want passive income, I really wanna have that kind of financial security. 
and you make a decision that you're going to go to the next step. But my experience is it takes a wake-up call a, and a point of decision. And whatever your point of decision is to go to step number three, which we're going to cover next.